Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial in this tutorial set. Now, what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be covering the development process of this particular game project here, which is called Detective Bot. Now, the objective of this game is to speak to these various NPCs and find out who took our ID card or where we placed our ID card. And once we find that ID card, we're going to speak to this NPC character here and the attempt to um, have him open the gate for us and so that we can get through, go into the hangar and complete our task. Now, this entire story project was created using Storyteller, as you can see here. And if you're using the Storyteller, then you're gonna be get, if you're using Storyteller 2019.3.3, which is this version, then you'll get these three projects with it. We're currently working in the detective bot project here. And as you can see here, if you're more familiar with Storyteller, you can notice that we've updated Storyteller quite a bit. So you can see that now we have this display of our, our character cover images. So if we uh, load up a project, for example, we've already loaded up our detective bot project by simply double clicking on it, it loads out for us. I'm just gonna hit the escape button to close that. If we go into our uh, My Story Editor, we can see that we now have our cover image here. We can remove the image by clicking the bin icon, double click in the area and select an image and it saves it. And once it's saved, we'll see the image here. And we can double click the uh, name here to rename it and we also see the last saved date. So this is the product that we're gonna be working with. And so let's just uh, cl close this, let's just hit escape and close it. And here's our entire story canvas. Now this is uh, set up quite easily and I'll show you how it was done. So creating nodes is actually quite easy in Storyteller. You can either right click, go into the context menu, go to um, make a node and then click on a node to create, or you can do the easier way. Uh, hold on control, left click and simply create any node you find in here. Now you can hold on shift and select group select or you can group cut paste and delete you can hold control plus delete the shortcut to delete and you simply set up your story flow by connecting various nodes and inside of your timeline is where you set all your interactions now if you're more familiar with storyteller then you'll notice that in the timeline there's some there are also some changes so we now have this rgb um, button here which helps us to toggle the visualization for the chaining colors. Now these chaining colors correspond to our character's chaining colors here. And if we update these chaining colors, we'll see them update in the timeline also. And this helps us to keep track of which characters are which. And to further help us keep track of our characters when we're working with uh, setting up their interactions in the timeline, we have added the toggle visibility uh, buttons here. So if you want to focus on our NPC 1 and our main character, then we can talk visibility for NPC 3 and 2 and we're able to focus on NPC 1 and uh, Kibi Maru, our main character. We can also use the story sample editor. We can select our um, main character and our NPC 1 here and open up the story sample editor and we can get their full interaction here. Now you can play through this interaction in the timeline or you can scrub through the timeline to sample the interaction. So if you grab the playhead, we can scrub through or we can hit the play button and begin playing through the interactions automatically to get a feel for the flow of the story and see if that story is actually correct. Now, as many of you already know, um, Storyteller works on time. So everything is time-based. So if we select a node here and we go into our properties editor here, we can see um, we now have we have duration, delay and start time for each node. Some nodes do not use start time, but however, when they're used by the character component or by, by GameBridge in general, then times are generated for them so that they can be used in game. All right, so that's a brief um, overview of, of, of Storyteller here. Um, the development process is actually quite simple and in the next video i'll be showing you how everything is set up and how we actually 
I brought our story to life in game here. And in the next video, I'll get into that. So thanks for watching this brief introduction. I'll see you in the next videos.